you know, sometimes it might be helpful to a theme to have gone through something and whatever, you know, a heartbreak or something like that is, is not, is not the same as just struggling with your mental health. I mean, that's something else. This video is being sponsored by GPU Audio, creators of the pioneering technology that lets you use your graphics card for processing audio. More from me in a bit. Um, MJC says, James, I'd love some insight into how you program your drums. Do you have a set of go-to drum samples that you gravitate towards? Um, I actually don't use the same drum samples in every project, but I mean, I always try and come up with new ones. But I, I have got a sample library of of drums that are kind of my versions of other drums so like you know w ways that i've eq'd them or mixed them or whatever re-sampled into a sample pack essentially um but sounds that i'd already created somehow created a sample pack out of that um it's like echoes of drum kits that you might find in sample libraries and packs, but they've gone through my filter. Um, so I use some of those. I use Geist uh, by F Expansion um, still. I mean, it's actually the first version I use. Um, I don't really like any other drum programming software. Um, so if I'm going to be working in the box, I'll use Geist. But Otherwise, I make stuff using the Pulsar 23 and the TRAS. They're my favorite drum machines. Um, I just got an LXR 02 by Erica since, but um, haven't delved into it too much. But yeah, m mostly the TRAS is how I've made um, a lot of stuff. Then, you know, made uh, loops, like a loop library of stuff that I wrote for over other stuff. And now I sample, I resample those loops and turn them into other stuff. So, for example, um, in Geist, you can it, it's quite has a quite a nice feature of um, these are all. This is like on my screen right now is um, just a bunch of loops um, that of drums that I've made for other tracks. But Geist is is kind of chopping them into you know like whatever the tempo is currently. I mean, sounds quite cool. I mean, it's yeah. not the timing isn't right at the moment, but I could I could mess with that to make sure it was. This would have come from. Something else I programmed in guys was going going through some kind of some distortion and then now it's been sampled into a loop and I can break that loop up into a different pattern and you know, so I might take that pattern um and instead of doing um letting it be the pattern of the original loop, I'll just uh re make the pattern. So you might get something like this. I don't know. I'm just, you know, fucking around with it. But that's uh, that's how at the moment I'm making drums. Is I'm just going back into stuff. There's so many drum loops that it could never possibly sound like something I've made already. And a lot of them are from tracks that haven't even come out. So there's no, you know, worry of it sounding like something original. Sorry, uh, that already exists. Um, yeah. And I'm just, yeah, just messing with that. That's how I'm making them at the moment. But. My my process changes all the time. Uh, yeah, whatever sounds good. Interesting. Um, and the last question, um, another question from Elliot, but it kind of ties in with the last question we ask everybody who comes on tape notes, which is about advice and mm -hmm. and um, if you have anything that you would pass on to other people or a lesson that you've learned along the way or, or something that somebody said to you. And Elliot was wondering, how do you juggle 
striving and working hard in music with mental health. And I know that that's something that you mm. have spoken about before. As promised, more from me on GPU Audio, whose game-changing technology, officially supported by NVIDIA, AMD, and Apple, is leading the way to ultra-low latency, parallel processing, and live machine learning in the world of audio processing. They have partnered with VSL, Mantra, and many more developers to bring this incredible power to the plugins you already love and those of the future, including their own plugin suite, coming soon on all platforms. In the meantime, head over to gpu.audio forward slash take notes to try their free betas, get a pack of 50 custom-made impulse responses and over 150 free drum samples now. Links in the description below. I think the worry of someone who's going through a lot uh, in their personal life, maybe some, and maybe they have a lot of anxiety and maybe depression, uh, other mental health issues, whatever. The worry is that if we stop, you know, we may not have made the amount of money we want to or had the kind of success we want to yet and and if we stop in order to fix our mental health um then that's going to sh slow us down and stop us from achieving what we want to do um in the meantime and my take on that is that i mean that may sometimes be true i think if you are someone who's carrying so much that if you if you if you stop and you look at it, then it might be too much. And it might be, it might be that it, it does set you back in terms of, you know, for a while you might not be able to be as creative or, or, or productive, uh, because you're needing to kind of sit with that emotion and look at it and, and do therapy or whatever it is, however way, whatever way you're working through it. Um, but I have found, and I, I don't, and I've, seen a lot of evidence of this that by allocating at least some of your time to working on your mental health and 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 kind of sitting in it and fixing it um by whatever method you are you are more likely to achieve that success uh over time i'd say i'd say for the short term uncomfortability um in most cases you are exponentially more likely to be successful um if you are not anxious and afraid and depressed yeah so and music is a is not an art form that requires depression or anxiety it's not something in fact if anything if, if anything anxiety and depression makes it infinitely harder to create um you know sometimes it might be helpful to a theme to have gone through something and whatever you know a heartbreak or something like that is is not uh is not the same as just struggling with your mental health i mean that's something else um the kind of layers of depression and anxiety that that you know the the traumas the 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 relationships that aren't right in our life the the situations that aren't right you know those things are not conducive to creativity so um best to and you know standing up to people being authentic integrating your child self into your adult self you know all that stuff you know the, the therapy shit um it's it's important it's more important than you know making endless amounts of music in, in a short space of time um because the scope and potentially the the ambition that you have might change once those things have been dealt with a little bit you know sometimes our motivations change and we might arrive at what we're the path we're really supposed to be on um and i believe everyone has a kind of path that suits them and that they're supposed to be on and other people and mental health and anxiety and all this other stuff um can take us away from that 
Um, so it's all about trying to get to that path and that feeling when, you know, you're like, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Can't really happen when you're um, thinking so much about the future and the past and not really living in the present. And, and that's what those things take you away from. Um, sorry, I was rambling, but the I really want to stress how important it is to to prioritize mental health over music um because however much you think it's going to hold you back i can t i can tell you for from experience that mental health your your um poor uh mental health is gonna is gonna hold you back a lot more 